All right, so today we're gonna set up the Cimarron, all right? It comes in a really small little case like this, really compact, really portable, uh, and it's super light. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out. We're gonna spread it over the area that we want to set up. Now that it's laid out into a square, we're going to set the pole, and in fact, I just got a little rock, doesn't have to be anything crazy, as long as it's flat, that's what your your uh, pole is going to sit on. So, if we set this up, I kind of know how far I need this to go, and... Perfect. Now, just like that, we're going to go ahead and zip this up again and put in the rest of the stakes. These are super lightweight tent stakes. I mean, they barely weigh anything. That's what comes with the tent. Now, the Cimarron has a built-in sod skirt. As you can see, it comes down a few inches past, past the loops, which is awesome. So you have a few ways to do it. You can stake the inner and let the sod skirt come down. You can stake the outer in the summertime and kind of give yourself a little bit of breathing room for air to come underneath. Personally, I like to take them together when I'm not really particular. Stake both loops, stretch it out, and dig it in, like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the tie down here. If I want a little extra strength, I might take this. Normally I would stake it up. I have the advantage of having a, a thing right here. Fence today. A fence. <laughs> so I can just, tie that nice and taut and that gives me not only stability in the storm but also a little more room inside so yeah is it's uh they say the apex is about six feet i guess that makes sense i'm six foot two and i can stand up like this but normally i would have to bend over to get inside uh but it's Pretty roomy once you're all set up in there. Okay, so My stove much. jack, like that. So I know I'm going to be setting up the stove, and let's get to work. Now I also like to set up my vent, get that nice and open, so that it's comfortable. I have some good ventilation as I sleep. Um, it's cozy. It's ready to go. We're going to set up our stove. This is from Light Outdoors. They're a Canadian product. Seek Outside makes their own stove, which is actually really cool as well. I, I haven't tried it. It's titanium as well. Um, it's just Light Outdoors was so inexpensive, I had to give theirs a try. So I pack, personally, a pair of gloves so that I don't get cut and so it stays a little cleaner. I have some microfiber towels to keep things clean. Um, I did go and buy some longer... Uh, rods. I mean, I've been kind of experimenting with how tall I want the stove to be. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you have your your fittings and your base plates. So, I'm going to start with this. Put my base plate down there. Good. Then, we get into our stove pipe itself. Yeah, with the really long parts, you can keep it interesting. Exactly. So, 
These are just retaining some rings. We're going to take those off, put them in a specific place because they're a different size than any of the others. Okay, now we have two kinds of piping here, okay? We have the body of the stove and we have the chimney. Just to let you know, these have been used. Oh, yeah. These are so ugly. That's exactly right. Once you fire it in, uh, it takes this shape. Now, what I like to do is take the opposite side of our head wrap and have it like this. So basically, our legs go down. We want our chimney coming out the top, so we know that's going to be the top there. We're going to fill this in. Now, you'll also notice the two little cutouts on this side, right there. There's two little notches for the legs. That's how you have that placed. Good. Now that's basically it. We're going to take these. Put them around and let those kind of fall down a little bit, okay? We have a few of these here. Take our top side. And put this over the top. Okay, same thing. You see the little notches for the legs. Everything just kind of fits together and once you've fired the stove, it all fits together really well. So. Come over to this side in. Yep. We're gonna meet these in the middle. Okay, those keep my stove together. Come on over to the other side. Actually, here. I'm gonna turn this. We'll do the same thing here. Now, those are good. Now you'll notice. I actually went and made a couple of these little rings so that I could open the door easily without getting burned. There we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is turn this over and start kind of distributing them this way. Make sure those rings work. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take these. Okay. These are our legs for a little pot belly stove. Ready to go. Put those on. Ooh, it looks like we have some lady friends. Don't peck at me. I wouldn't do. That's ready. I'm just going to put it over here to the side. And now we're going to focus on this. Alright, so what we're going to do is notice that it takes a different shape. That's what we want. Let's put a couple of these on. And this is why I wear the gloves. So I don't get the Because working with sheets of metal this small. Okay. We'll do one more for luck, just to have it. Now here is put this in. And this is my flue. Flue is gonna let me decide how I control this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lastly. The chickens are just looking at you like, what in the world are you doing? They will. They're chickens. There we go.
Okay, so we're ready to camp out in the backyard. It's not bad, right? Come in here. We got uh, three cots set up, ready to go. I have my goal zero set up. It's, uh, it's gonna give us a little light, but all in all, with the two entrances and exits, we're pretty excited about that. It should be a good, should be a good show. So it's been several months since I bought both the Cimarron and the stove. Um, I absolutely love it. I have to say I'm very happy with both purchases. I've had a chance to get it up into the mountains. I was alone and I had all the room I could want. Uh, as you can see, my kids love taking in the backyard and uh, camping from time to time. What's great is that I can handle the stove, I can manipulate it, add wood, kindle the fire uh, without even leaving my bedroll or my cot. So it's very, very handy that way. Um, I would say the only downside is the condensation, and this is uh, many times addressed on all the forums between Seek Outside and Kifaru. Um, it, I know that they make a liner for their bigger products, just not for the smaller ones here. I think the only option is the liner, which I haven't quite convinced myself that I want to go for yet, but for family camping, I, we are going to have to upgrade to one of the bigger TPs. Uh, but that's okay. I absolutely love the products, and I'm excited to to take that next step. Thanks for watching.